It's now time to install your first IDE. Are you ready? Let's do it. And heads up, there are many different IDEs out there, but instead of walking you through each and every IDE, which would be a very boring lecture to sit through, you're instead gonna get my bias and I'm gonna show you how to install my two favorite IDEs, Microsoft Visual Studio, which should interest you if you wanna get into Windows development or wanna make games using a popular engine called Unity, and we'll also be installing Microsoft Visual Studio Code, which should interest you if you're interested in more general programming or data science as well as a slew of other tasks. And yes, they both have Microsoft Visual Studio in their name, and yes, they are two separate IDEs. Now, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your browser. Uh, I'm going with uh, Google Chrome as my browser. You can choose whatever you want. This part's not really important, but you wanna search uh, Visual Studio in the search bar and then click downloads you'll see visualstudio.microsoft.com click downloads and it'll take you straight to the page that you want to be on so as you see we have here a uh, visual studio 2019 the community edition let's hit free download there and then you also have your visual studio code ide well hold on one second you'll see that it pops up down here lets you know that it's downloading and then i'm gonna go back and then i'm gonna click uh visual studio code uh free download this is the second ide we need and it'll pop up down here, let you know that it's downloading, and you just wait for that to download. All right, once those are done downloading, you can either click on them from here in uh, Google Chrome if that's what you're using, and they will start to in install it. Uh, but if you don't have Google Chrome, then you're gonna wanna find wherever your uh, default downloads folder is. In most cases, it, it should be um, downloads uh, in, in Windows, C downloads. But if not, you're gonna to wanna to find that so that you can install the IDEs. So first, let's install Visual Studio Code. I'm just gonna double click on this and you'll see that we get a uh, window here that says, welcome to the Windows Studio Code Wizard setup wizard. And this part's really easy. It's just like any other installation you've ever done. You just hit next, then you agree. Read it if you want, uh, hit next. And then uh, here you wanna leave this at the default location, which is like C um, somewhere, somewhere program files likely. But because I already have this installed on my system, I'm gonna install this in a very special location so it doesn't mess with my presets. Um, so yeah, just leave that how that is, hit next, and then just hit next. And here I would recommend that you check uh, open with code and on both of them and also make sure that add to paths is uh, checked as well uh, and what these two do here is it allows you for like let's say you have some Python script uh, and instead of having to open up first Visual Studio code and then hitting file and then open and then searching for it you can just go to like let's say one of these are a Python script you can just right click on it and then you'll have this available right here where it's open with code so it will just open that file directly in, in Visual Studio Code. It's very convenient. Uh, you can also do that with directories in case you have a, a, a file, I'm sorry, you have a um, folder with a lot of Python scripts. You can just right click somewhere in the folder, hit open with code. Very, very useful. I would, I would definitely recommend checking both of these. And then just hit next. Now I'm going to go back and remove these because again, I don't want to mess up my presets, but this is how your year should look with, of course, this the nest destination being uh, C, C program files, whatever, whatever. And then after that, just click install, install, and then you can see that um, it's going to install. It's only going to take a couple seconds. It's not going to take terribly long and bada boom, there you have it. Uh, Visual Studio Code has officially been installed. Uh, we're going to hit finish and launch Visual Studio Code. I'm going to bring this, oops, wrong window. I'm going to bring Visual Studio Code over here. This is what it looks like. Uh, now, before we get started, there's a couple of things that you want to do. You do definitely want to add uh, Python right here. So click install. In fact, I'm going to show you how to do it traditionally. Just search Python and then install just Python. This allows you to... Uh, use Python with Visual Studio Code. And there are a few options to do that, but this one is straight from Microsoft. So just install the, the top one that's just called Python. And another extension that we're gonna need is called Code Runner. Just search Code Runner, open the extensions and download the first one. This is gonna allow us to run our Python scripts uh, within Visual Studio Code without having to leave the IDE. 
it's very nice. All right, and there you have it. Visual Studio Code is installed. If you want to do new file, just go to file up top, new file, and bada boom. If you want to save an extension, you just simply save the file anywhere. We'll just do documents, for example, and just do like my, my file, I don't know, dot, and dot pi. We'll get you a Python script, hit save, and now it's recognized as a Python script. And if you get this pop up here that tells you that Python is not installed, Visual Studio Code is often really good with letting you know like what you need and what you, uh, well, not so much don't need, but they're really good with letting you know what you need. So let's hit download here. It's gonna pop up a new window. We're gonna wanna download Python um, 3.7. And then I'm just gonna hit, what, run? Oh, let's hit save. Open folder here. And I'm just gonna double click that to run it. Next, all you want to do is just hit uh, add Python 3.7 to path and then just click install now. And it's just going to install now. Give it a little time and Python should be installed. And just like that, setup was successful. So back in our downloads folder, I'm just going to double click uh, the Visual Studio installer. And uh, I'm not sure what you're seeing right now, but it's asking me to type in my password. So I'm going to do that. Uh, let's see, hold on. No, it's not. Oh, the pin. Sorry. All right. Sorry, I went black there for a second. And then we have um, Visual Studio Installer. Just hit continue. And it's going to start downloading and installing some stuff. Shouldn't take too long. Then you should see something like this pop up. And they're going to give you a few options. Uh, you can ignore most of them. Uh, maybe come back to him later when you get a bit more experience. But all you really need is this one right here, .NET Desktop Development, because what we're looking for is the console applications using C Sharp. So just click that one, and then you just click Install. And let's see, Install on System Drives, Recommended. Again, I have this already installed, so I'm going to place this in a very special location, but definitely place this uh, installed on your System Drive where it's recommended. So I'm going to hit OK, and um, you get this that pops up. Thank you for installing. Take a survey. Not now. And this will start installing. It's probably going to take a little while, but once it's done, you won't have much to worry about. All right, and once it's at 100%, give it a second. Uh, it's going to start automatically because we had that checked. And bada boom, now you have welcome, connect all your develop services, developer services. Um, just hit not now, maybe later. At some point, they'll, they'll force you to make an account anyway. So just for now, we'll do not now, start Microsoft Visual Studio, preparing your first time use. And here we are. Now, if you want to create a new project, you simply just hit that, hit create a new project. And then it'll ask you what type of project you want to make. Uh, we're just going to do a simple C, uh, console project in C Sharp here, and then hit Next, and you can name it. Let's just name it. Oh, I'll just leave it how it is. Console project one is fine, and create console app. Sorry, I don't know how to read. Give that a second, and bada bing, it'll start up, and now you're officially in. And uh, that's pretty much all that you have to do for C Sharp.